Welcome to a very busy post Christmas Universal Studios. Let's go inside and check it out. Our total time to get into the park today, starting when we got in line for the health check mm -hmm. and through security and into the park was 20 minutes. Yep. Now we blew right by the first thing I wanted to do, which I wanted to go get the last stamp for our free ornament. It's in City Walk. But I knew that would not go well with you. <laughs> I knew you wanted to make a beeline into the park. So at the end of the day, we'll have to finally, oh my God, finally, get the last stamp and get that ornament it is it's been the bane of my existence this entire christmas season oh my god Jeez. well it's well earned then i guess i don't know you will have to admit nikki you are the type that is on a mission until you get through those gates yeah i get a little stressy the minute i like get on property to park or when, not even like when we're in the toll booth in lane. the toll booth that's like my high stress time like toll booth all the way to getting in the park and then once i get in the park i'm like i can settle down but i don't know why i get a little stressy then yes you do hey it's not that bad minions is a virtual line only right now and shrek 4d a 45 minute wait <laughs> and i think nikki has some thoughts on virtual lines and universal's processes so it's a little odd i mean but like you can't plan your day around you know virtual lines or wait times or anything so i'm mean, you know because you never know which lines are going to be virtual lines when right exactly they can pop up at any time so like you you know you'd be sitting there on your phone your whole the whole day trying to figure out when it's going to pop up so right. there's no consistency is my it like the thing that i have with especially it. for like the mummy yeah i think if they know it's going to be busy hagrid's will be a virtual line but it seems like the mummy that whatever they feel at the moment exactly could so, be standby could be virtual right so the it's just the inconsistency of it i think that's the difficult thing to plan a day i would agree you know and we are not planners no you know so i mean we usually fly by the seat of our pants anyway but it would be nice to be guaranteed like one ride exactly and you can't even do that because you don't know when it's going to pop up so here's the story with rip ride rocket Two and a half hours for standby. Yes. The express line is taking about a, about an hour. Yeah, about 60 minutes is what they're guesstimating. Now, truth be told, if we were not vloggers, if we did not have a theme park YouTube channel, we would not be at the parks this time of year. Oh, no, we would avoid it like, oh wait, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but typically, locals, we avoid it because we know it's so busy. Yeah, absolutely. But they still have the seating area here at the plaza and a lot of people making use of it today. The food truck here is still out. We were not crazy about what we had here. I would describe what we had maybe like a beef chalupa would be the best way I could describe it. It was just okay. I expect that to be gone by January 4th because Universal's holiday celebration is supposed to go through January 3rd. What we have here is the super extended queue for Transformers. We'll check on the wait time for it once we get around there. The wait time? There is no wait time. It is at capacity. Wow. Can't get in line for it right now. I was hoping for at least one ride today and I wanted that to be Mummy. I was really wanting to get a virtual line pass for it, but uh, let's make our way to it and let's see what's happening with it. So behind me here is the queue for the mummy and case in point what we were talking about earlier. Right. When we first got on property in the garage, the the wait time for the mummy was what, 50 minutes? Yes. It was a standby wait. Yes. We come over here now, it's gone to virtual, and I checked the app, there's no more virtual lines. And the thing is, is that when it said 50 minutes, I'm like, great, I'm going to miss the virtual app, or, or the virtual time when it comes up, I know I am. Yeah, because you're not going to be on your phone at yeah. the exact minute that they it, decide to switch it over to exactly. virtual. Exactly. So that's kind of the frustrating thing, I yeah. think, is that you, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no consistency, right. you know, in that. So, and I was trying. We were trying. We were looking for it. Yeah. We're not complaining. We're just telling you guys how it is. This is the real deal. And this is what's happening today. Holiday mix. The same. Is it new? 
<laughs> I don't know. They were the I've never heard of them. They were mixed in uh, Frank Sinatra. They were. It was pretty and cool. This one. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Fast and Furious Supercharged, not a virtual line, rather a two hour wait. Large theme park crowds can stress out some people, but I for one, I'm happy to see a lot of people out and about enjoying life, enjoying the holidays. It brings me joy that they're having such a good time. Wouldn't you agree, Nikki? Absolutely. And behind us, say Alcatraz, too early for Murph to be working. Hogwarts Express, a 70 minute wait you know, I thought it would be longer, quite honestly. I was kind of imagining like 120 for this. Into Diagon Alley to experience the muggle crowds in here. And some wizards. There'll be some witches and wizards as well. At first, I thought this was the line to see the wand show. But no, it's the line just to get into Ollivander's to purchase a wand. And the line to get into the Leaky Cauldron stretches all the way through into Nocturne Alley. This door here is the entrance for the wand show, but the line to get in wraps all the way around the building. Escape from Gringotts is not a virtual line. It is a standby and it's only 70 minutes. That's not too bad. <laughs> Everything considering. considering. Yeah. <laughs> Now I told you the wait time for Gringotts was 70 minutes, but the line, and I think this is for the ride, not the lockers, goes way back over here, all the way to the hopping pot. Wow, yowza. Let's step inside of Globus Mundi. I wanna show you some, uh, some merchandise for the night bus. If you're a fan of the night bus, there's a cart outside in London, but also you get night bus stuff here and Globus Mundi. So here we have a Night Bus t-shirt for $30. Has the Night Bus logo. And of course it is purple to match the Night Bus. For $17, get yourself a little mini Night Bus. Almost like a little Hot Wheel. That's pretty cool. 17 bucks. And if you like that Night Bus t-shirt, they have a hoodie version. Same deal, it's purple to match the Night Bus. Has the Night Bus symbol and everything. And this will set you back sixty dollars so this is the store that's related to all travel items you get your platform nine and three quarters merchandise here your hogwarts express merchandise here things like that travel related merchandise inside of globus monday and now let's catch some of the some of the warbeck and the banshee's holiday show <laughs> Well, I've never seen this before, but there is a line backed up just to get into Diagon Alley. This is the little merchandise kiosk in London, right before you step into Diagon Alley, that also has the night bus merchandise. Here's something they have at this kiosk they did not have in Globus Mundi, but for $15, a night bus keychain. For $19, a shrunken head. And wouldn't this be cool hanging in your uh, in your car, whatever you may be driving? And then for thirteen dollars, there's a couple magnets. One is Hogwarts Express, but the other is the night bus. Speaking of the night bus, it's right here. Look at how awesome the front is with the shrunken head. I also recommend checking out the back of the night bus so you can peek inside. The back of the night bus is a good photo op. But we'll just go in and uh, I'll show you the inside of it. And there it is. You have your luggage. You got your beds. Even a little toothbrush by your bed. A 140 minute wait for the Simpsons ride. Wait 140 minutes and you can get sick. Came in number two on my top six rides that'll make you sick. 
and Nikki has some information for us. What time did the park reach capacity today? Around 10.30 today. 10.30. So the benefit of staying at an on-site hotel is you're guaranteed to get in. Uh, it's crazy busy. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that if we leave the park right now, we will not be allowed back in. I'll double check that because I think we will have lunch at Tusum's today. Of the two holiday food trucks that they have at studios this time of year, the funnel cake, this one was my favorite by far. E.T.'s adventure is a two hour wait today. Now when it comes to visiting during the holidays, Christmas holidays, I think, and wouldn't you agree Nikki? The first half, like the week before Christmas, not as bad or as crowded as the week after Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think that they, maybe once or twice hit capacity the week before, but yeah. the week after they're hitting it every single yeah. day. And you, you know, I think because like leading up to Christmas, there's a lot of like, uh, you know, family responsibilities and stuff. Right. Whereas after Christmas, you just got time off to go have fun. <laughs> or return to <some> merchandise. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a busy day when Schwab's is open. Well, Nikki's been such a trooper dealing with the crowds, not being able to go on rides. So, I'm gonna take her to go get her favorite tuna melt at Tusum's. All right, that's a deal. We probably will not be able to re-enter the park. Probably not. Now, while Nikki is gonna get one of her favorites, I'll try to get something new to show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to give you the lay of the land. Over here, this is the entrance for hotel people. This is the entrance for people who have a dated ticket for today. And then I need to back up and show you the line, the standby line to get into the parks. Okay, I don't even think I can give you the proper perspective, but there's the arches where you go into Universal Studios. There's the globe and the standby line, as you can see, goes down the bridge and like halfway through City Walk. That is the standby line to get into the parks. I'm going to zoom in. I can see Nikki putting in our names right now for twosomes. My prediction is a one hour wait. We'll see. So I was way wrong. She got right in line. So my one hour prediction way off. I think it was quicker because she requested first available. So we're sitting out in the patio, which is just fine because it is a gorgeous day. While we're waiting for the food, Nikki went inside to get her dessert. She'll eat it later though. What'd you get, Nick? So I got all my favorites, but I included this time an eggnog and a cranberry. And the price of these macarons? $21 without a pass holder discount. I'm not gonna show her, but she cheated. She had a bite of one of her cookies. Warm chocolate bread, $4, and it is delicious. This is a salted caramel butter. So, so good. This is the Tour de France. It's $15. Half pound house made patty, bib lettuce, roasted tomatoes, sunny side egg, avocado, crispy onions, French brie, and toasted brioche bun. And here is Nikki's favorite dish here at Tusum's. Her favorite all time tuna fish sandwich, the tuna melt for $14. And what she really likes about it, the sunny side up egg. Okay, Rick's really quick food review. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll start because that was new for me. The okay. Tour de France burger. Uh -huh. um, the burger, the patty was really, really good. Okay, good to know. Um, I liked having the egg on it. That's why I got that burger. Okay. The bun, I was disappointed in. Yeah, it's a little rusty looking. Yeah. It wasn't like... Kind of dry. Yeah, not buttery looking at all. So, it's... It's, it's pretty good. If you get a better bun, you get a better burger. <laughs> the bun makes the burger? <laughs> well, that's a half of it. Of it. <laughs> the, the two important parts is the patty and the bun. Right, that's true. And then had the bonus of the egg. Yeah. Um, so it kind of, eh, eh. It's okay. 50 50. Yeah. Gotcha. And Nikki, we really don't, really don't need to go into yours. As it's you, delicious and I love it. You <laughs> love that tuna and milk. And I'm so stuffed, I won't eat dinner tonight. I'm, That's how full I am. I'm full too though, yeah. I am full. So, there you go. Rick's quick food review. <laughs> and now we will walk over to the Universal Store here in City Walk because we have to get our last stamp for the Christmas tree trail and earn, finally earn, our ornament. And Nikki is in line to get our stamp for seeing this tree. Here it is, guys. The last Christmas tree on our tree trail. 
And while Nikki is getting our free ornament, I would like to show you a new release for the chocolate frogs. It's Daisy. Daisy Doddridge, I want to say. If Nikki was here, she could help me out, but I'm going with Daisy Doddridge. So for those of you who collect those cards, a new one. And here it is, finally, finally, our tree hunt ornament. <laughs> a good way to remember 2020, I suppose. I guess so. <laughs> I got two sides to this thing. Double your fun. That's right. And funny thing is, I think you can actually purchase this for $10. I think you can. <laughs> but if you do that, you don't get the fun of hunting down the trees. Cricket, 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 cricket. <laughs> I said fun of hunting down the trees. It was a great time. I loved all the trees. <laughs> and I did hear they are letting people who were already in the parks re-enter the parks. Yes. Even though they're at capacity. However, I don't think we'll go to Iowa. It's more the same. Yep. Lots of people, long lines. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, as always, guys. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Hello, new Flicksters, and welcome to the team. We have Daniel Chapman as a new producer. We have Mike and Gabby as producers. And then we have Randy Weber as a supporter. And Andrew Ford, a supporter as well. Thank you guys so much for joining the team.